mysterious anomaly below Africa is weakening Earth's magnetic field. This is a very serious thing for Earth because the magnetic field is what protects us from solar radiation and cosmic rays. This is on bended reality. Above our heads, something is not right. Earth's magnetic field is in a state of dramatic weakening. And according to mind-boggling research from earlier this year, this phenomenal uh, disruption is part of a pattern lasting for over a thousand years. Earth's magnetic field does not just give us our north and south poles, it's also what protects us from solar winds and cosmic radiation. But this invisible force field is rapidly weakening, to the point scientists think it could actually flip with our magnetic poles reversing. And as crazy as that sounds, this actually does happen over vast stretches of time. It has happened many times in the past. The last time it occurred was about 780,000 years ago, although it got close again around 40,000 years back. When it takes place, it's not quick, with the polarity reversal showing slowly occurring over thousands of years. Nobody knows for sure if another such flip is imminent, and one of the reasons for that is a lack of hard data about this. The region that concerns scientists the most at the moment is called the South Atlantic Anomaly, a huge expanse of field stretching from Chile to Zimbabwe. The field is so weak within the anomaly that it's hazardous to Earth's satellites that enter the area because the additional radiation it's letting through could disrupt their electronics. That's why the ISS, when it's crossing that area, switches off the electronics and uh, that's why we don't get any uh, live uh, coverage when it enters that area. Now, they go on, going on with this article, we've known, they say, for quite some time that the magnetic field has been changing, but we didn't really know if this was unusual for this region on a larger time scale or whether it was normal. This is what physics physicist Vincent Haar from the University of Rochester, New York, said. Now, one of the reasons scientists don't know much about this magnetic history of this region of Earth is the lack of what's called the archaeomagnetic data, physical evidence of magnetism in Earth's past, preserved in archaeological relics from bygone ages. One such bygone age belonged to a group of ancient Africans who lived in the Limpopo River Valley, which borders Zimbabwe, South Africa, and Botswana, regions that fell within the South Atlantic anomaly of today. Approximately 1,000 years ago, these Bantu peoples observed an elaborate superstitious ritual in times of environmental hardship. During times of drought, they would, turn, they would burn down their clay huts and grain bins in the sacred cleansing rite to make the rains come again, never knowing they were performing a kind of preparatory scientific fieldwork for researchers centuries later. Quote, when you burn clay at very high temperatures, you actually stabilize the magnetic materials, and when they cool from these very high temperatures, they lock in a record of Earth's magnetic field, end quote. One of the team members, geophysicist John Tarduro, explained. As such, an analysis of, of the ancient artifacts that survived these burnings reveal much more than just the cultural practices of the ancestors of today's Southern Africans. Tarduro said, we were looking for recurring behavior of anomalies because we think that's what is happening today and causing the South Atlantic anomaly. We found evidence that these anomalies have happened in the past and this helps us contextualize the current changes in the magnetic field. Like a compass frozen in time, immediately after the burning, the artifacts revealed that the weakening in the South Atlantic anomaly is not a standalone phenomenon of history. Similar fluctuations occurred in the years 400 to 450 AD, 700 to 70, 750 AD, and 1225 to 1550 AD, in the fact that there's a pattern tells us that the position of the South Atlantic anomaly is not a geographical fluke. Tarduro says, we're getting stronger evidence that there's something unusual 
about the core mantle boundary under Africa that could be having an important impact on the global magnetic field, end quote. The current weakening in Earth's magnetic field, which has been taking place for the last 160 years or so, is thought to be caused by a vast reservoir of dense rock called the African Large Low Shear Velocity Province, which sits about 1,800 miles below the African continent. The researcher explained in the conversation last year, it's a profound feature that must be tens of millions of years old. While thousands of kilometers across, its boundaries are sharp. This dense region, existing between the hot liquid iron of Earth's outer core and the stiffer, cooler mantle, is suggested to somehow be distributing the iron that helps generate Earth's magnetic field. There's a lot more research to do before we better understand what's going on here. As the researchers explain, the conventional idea of pole reversals is that they can start anywhere in the core, but the latest findings suggest what happens in the magnetic field above us is tied to phenomenon, phenomenon that special pla at special places in the core mantle boundary. If they're right, a big piece of the field weakening puzzle just fell in our lap, thanks to a clay-burning ritual millennia ago. And what this all means for the future, though, no one is certain. Quote, we know this, uh, we now know this unusual behavior has occurred at least a couple of times before the past 160 years, and this is part of a bigger long-term pattern, Hare said. However, it's simply too early to say for certain whether this behavior will lead to a full pole reversal. The findings were uh, reported in Geophysical Review Letters, and the version of this article first published March 2018, by Peter Dockrill, Science Alert, and this is on Bedded Reality. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.